Hi, Riverwood Church. I have some announcements and updates for you today, but I'd also like to start by reading to you something from John chapter 16. This is part of where this Sunday's message is going. In John 16, Jesus is with his disciples. It's the night before he went to the cross. And he's saying a long goodbye to them. And it's painful. But the message to them is, as painful as this is, there is a message of great blessing in this for you. Let me read to you from John 16, starting in verse 7, what Jesus says. But I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. The message to every believer, quite simply, is this. You're not alone. And that's the title for this coming Sunday's message, Not Alone. The disciples were going to be entering into a time of great change. And it was important for them to know from Jesus personally that God the Holy Spirit would be beside them and in them through every step of the way. Important message for us too, right? Given we're in a time of change as well, for you to know that God the Holy Spirit is alongside you and he's with you every single day of your life. Well, more on that this coming Sunday. Now I'm sure a big question that's on your mind is what's happening this Sunday. So let me fill you in on that. In light of the current COVID-19 situation and in view of Governor Walz's um, a proclamation concerning that, we're not going to be having drive-in service this Sunday, but we are going to be having a live stream service that you can participate in from home. This is going to be uh, an, an experience where you can go on live stream or watch it on the YouTube a little bit later. We'll have a worship team there. We'll have a message for you. You'll be able to watch this and see a screen up behind so you can catch all the words and you can sing right along with the worship team in that process. And so that'll be what we do for the next two weeks. For this coming Sunday and for Sunday, April 5th, we'll be getting together via live stream and YouTube so that you can participate in the service right at home. That'll be what we do for the next two weeks. Now for Easter, our hope in this is to be able to get together to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will probably be uh, a drive-in service or services. So stay posted on that. That drive-in service this last Sunday was, was just so much fun, wasn't it? It was a great, great morning. And to talk a little bit about what happened that morning... As you know, we took a, a collection for our local food shelf. Sue Banks, the director of our food shelf, sent an email to all the area churches this week reminding us of the challenges that our area food shelves are going through right now and the need that continues to be there. And in it, though, she embedded a thank you to Riverwood Church for providing five shopping carts full of groceries and important non-food items to our food shelf. Uh, what a wonderful time that is, was. And, and so we encourage you, as you can, as you're able, to continue in partnering and helping out with our food shelf collection. You can drop by our building anytime during the week. There are baskets out in front of the main door. You can put your items in there, and someone will be coming by on a daily basis to make sure that you're Items get taken into the church building and then eventually brought over to the food shelf. This is a really great way to serve our community, and we'd like to continue on through this uh, up through Easter time. One last thing I wanted to talk with you about is that although we're not able to gather and minister face-to-face -face quite the way we normally would, ministry person-to-person -person doesn't stop. One of the things that we hope to see fairly soon with our gospel community small groups is that they will be meeting together via Zoom and or other formats, if nothing else, just to check in. Hi, how you doing? Sharing what's going on and uh, praying for one another. And with that in mind, 
if you're not a part of a gospel community, a small group, this might be a really excellent time for you to join in from the comfort of your home. Uh, think about how nice it would be to be able to interact and, and talk with other believers, to, to be able to share with them what's going on and hear from them what's going on, have someone pray for you. So if you have an interest in being part of a small group through this, through this way, uh, would you get in touch with us? You can contact me. My email address is pastormark at riverwoodonline.org. Or you can contact Pastor Andrew. Pastor Andrew is the one who, set, uh, who heads up our small group ministries. Uh, so you can contact him at pastorandrew at riverwoodonline.org. You know, John Bunyan, the author of the great, great classic novel, Pilgrim's Progress, describes the church this way. He describes us as being like a bed of flowers in the springtime. Imagine a flower bed, and the flowers are covered with morning dew, and then a breeze comes along. And as that breeze is wafting through the flower bed, the flowers are watering each other. As drops of dew fall from the petals, and they bring moisture and life to each other. That's a wonderful picture of how the body of Christ can support, we support ourselves, and also again knowing that God the Holy Spirit is with us and among us. You're not alone. Well, that's all for now. God bless you in His grace.